It's always nice to be to be involved again in, in the GB setup. Obviously, we, we all train together full time uh, up here, um, and we've got a lot of input from from the coaches and support staff up here, which is uh, which is fantastic to see. But it's fantastic, yeah, once again to be to be involved in the uh, in the setup and travel as part of the team, and hopefully try and break into that um, to the team sprint mould. Yeah, obviously the season's going quite well um, so far. We've had quite an interesting season this year, trying to balance um, a few different, a few different, um, I suppose, emphases this year. So we've tried um, working without the gym for a little bit. So I've been out of the gym now for over a year. Um, so trying to work sort of more on the bike and out on the road and do some different training stimulus. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been lucky enough recently with with the support of Team USN uh, to compete at uh, two um, World Cups here in Manchester and then one in uh, in Mexico in Aguas Calientes um, and some a few revolutions as well that's been going been going quite well so they're always a good indicator of, uh, of performance it's all things sort of uh, take into account this year um, you know with, with how we've had to adapt to certain certain training I'm happy with uh, with how things are the coaches are happy um, so leading up now um, to Mexico World Cup and Guadalajara. We're expecting some some big performances as part of the team sprint, and then individually in both the sprint and uh, and Kieran events. When you look at the team on balance, you've got quite a strong team there. JP will, will fill the the man one slot out there. Uh, at the minute, it looks like Callum's going to go man two off the back of some some good form recently riding revolutions, uh, and I'm going to try and bring it home as best I can in in man three. So we've got quite a good chance as a team. And then individually, been going well. So there's no reason why why we couldn't get on the podium.